When will I see a difference with electrolysis? I get this question asked all the time. The answer is nobody knows. I don't know. It's unknown. Nobody knows. That's the answer. And I feel like I'm gonna get dislikes because it's an answer that nobody likes to hear, but that is the truth. I'm gonna give you three examples, three human beings, to show you how different people are. So these three people have the same sort of medical background, but they saw a difference at different stages. I'm gonna explain whether they stimulated the hair growth in any way before they started electrolysis. I'm also gonna tell you how much hair they had, whether it was a little bit or a lot, and how often they were getting electrolysis done, because that all matters as well. The first person I'm gonna give you as an example is Moa. So my medical background is PCOS. I don't take medication for it. I did tweeze the hair, wax the hair, so it was stimulated. I did a little bit of electro I did a little bit of electrolysis, but then I tried laser and then I ended up with a lot of hair on my chin and down my neck. I then started my proper electrolysis journey. I did it every two weeks. I personally saw a difference after around three months. I can't remember exactly, but it was definitely a few months later. It wasn't a big change at all, but it was a very small change where I thought, okay, this is definitely what's working for me and I'm gonna stick to it. I saw a very noticeable difference after a year and this is doing electrolysis every two weeks. I also did electrolysis on my chest hair and I saw a difference only after the second session. I had never stimulated the hair on my chest so I never tweezed it, didn't shave it, wax it. I did bleach it once, but in terms of removing the hair from the root, Excuse me, just put that on silent. Yeah, I didn't stimulate this hair before. There was a medium amount of hair. There wasn't a lot, but there wasn't a little bit. It was like medium. Um, I did electrolysis on my chest hair once a month. So I did it, one month later I did it again, and then I saw a change. So very different results on one human body. The second example I'm gonna give is one of my friends who um, also has PCOS, she doesn't take medication for it. She wasn't at the time when she was getting treated. She did stimulate the hair growth a little bit. She used to tweeze. Um, she only had a little bit of hair. So she had a little bit here, a little bit here, and then like one on her neck. So a lot less hair. She wasn't getting treatments done as regularly as I was. So it wasn't every two weeks. It was around every one to two months, I wanna say. She saw a difference after the first treatment I didn't even believe her when she told me. I was like, are you sure you've already seen a difference? And she was like, yes. In fact, the one on her neck, I treated in a space of a year. I treated it twice and I don't think it ever grew back. My third example also has PCOS. She doesn't take medication for it. She was threading before she started her electrolysis journey. She had the same amount of hair that I did. Um, so it was a lot of hair but she wasn't getting it done every two weeks, which is what was recommended. She was getting it done I wanna say every two to three months, it wasn't regular at all. She saw a proper difference after one year. Those are my examples. Even if I gave you examples of three people that didn't have a hormone imbalance, it would be the same. Some people see a difference after a few sessions, um, others see a difference after around six months. Everyone's body is different. It would be so helpful if you get electrolysis done. Comment down below roughly when you feel like you saw a difference. Mention if you've got a hormone imbalance. Um, mention how often you was getting your sessions done. Also let me know if you had uh, what sort of hair removal method you was using before you started electrolysis. Did you wax, shave, tweeze, thread? And let me know if you've got a little bit of hair or a lot of hair. Um, what area on the body you're getting it done? Is it the chin area? Because this area is more hormonal compared to other areas. I feel like it will be really helpful. That's it from me today. Bye.